From top secret bases to underwater fortresses and even a spy ship, we are diving into all of this and more. Starting off our list today, we have the Atlantic Undersea Test and Evaluation Center. This is a facility found in the deep waters of the Bahamas, specifically on Andros Island, where it operates under the aegis of the United States Navy. This undersea range, often dubbed the Underwater Area 51, specializes in testing and evaluating sophisticated undersea warfare equipment, including submarines, sonar systems, and weapons. However, its remote location and secretive missions have ignited the public's imagination, spawning a flotilla of theories and legends. Some aficionados of the mysterious propose that AUTEC is a hotspot for underwater UFO bases or USOs. More on that later, suggesting that its deep sea environs are a playground for extraterrestrial activities concealed beneath the waves. Others weave tales of the center being involved in time travel experiments, covert aquatic human enhancement programs, or even serving as a gateway to lost underwater civilizations. It's a lot going on there. Next up today, we have RAF Rudlow Manor, which is nestled in the English countryside near Corsham, Wiltshire. And this place has long been a nexus of mystery. Originally serving as an RAF operational site, its subterranean complexity and historical depth have rendered it a hotbed for tales of hidden tunnels, secret government archives, and even extraterrestrial encounters. Rumors persist that beneath its innocuous surface lies a labyrinthine network of bunkers and tunnels hosting activities far removed from the public view. These range from UFO investigation units to covert wartime operations. Despite official dismissals, the allure of RAF Rudlow Manor endures, its mysterious facade inspiring a gamut of speculative narratives from clandestine Cold War strategies to alien autopsies. You heard that. Alien autopsies. What's fact and what's fiction? Well, the truth is, we may never really know. Moving on down, we have Fort Meade, which is located in Maryland in the United States, which is perhaps best known as the home of the National Security Agency, more commonly known as the NSA. This is the US entity responsible for global monitoring, collection, and processing of information and data for foreign intelligence and counterintelligence purposes. This high profile association makes Fort Meade a focal point for numerous theories, largely revolving around surveillance and espionage. People tend to speculate about the depth and breadth of the NSA's capabilities, suggesting it can listen in on any conversation in the world or crack any encryption. While it's very clear that Fort Meade plays a critical role in national security, the secretive nature of its operations fuels public imagination, leading to tales of secret underground facilities, mind control experiments, and other secret operations. Coming up next, we have the Negev Nuclear Research Center, which is located in Dimona in Israel. Officially, the facility is described as a nuclear research center, but its opacity and limited public information have fueled widespread speculation about its true nature and capabilities. Rumors range from it housing an extensive underground city capable of surviving a nuclear apocalypse to being the birthplace of secretive nuclear weapons despite Israel's policy of nuclear ambiguity, where it neither confirms nor denies possessing nuclear armaments. This veil of secrecy has made the Negev Nuclear Research Center a magnet for conspiracy theorists who speculate that it could be involved in everything, from advanced weapons development to exotic energy research or even extraterrestrial communication. Would this really be a top secret military base if we weren't talking about aliens? Adding to the mystique are international concerns and the cloak and dagger tales of espionage associated with attempts to uncover its secrets, including the infamous case of Mordecai Venunu. 
That is like, if I ever heard somebody who's like in a tale of espionage, it's someone named Mordecai Venunu, a former technician at the facility who disclosed details about its operations to the British press in 1986. At the end of the day, this place is full of mysteries, most of which we will likely never know the answers to. All right, so just sit and think about that for a bit. Coming up next, we have the submarine base New London, located in Groton, Connecticut. This base holds the distinction of being the United States Navy's primary East Coast submarine base. Beyond its official status as a hub of naval prowess and innovation, this storied installation has also navigated through the murky waters of urban legends. While it stands in the open as a testament to maritime military might, whispers of secret operations and even secretive underwater pathways have added layers of intrigue to its reputation. Some speculate about hidden underwater tunnels supposedly connecting it to other strategic points, or even suggesting that it's a testing ground for experimental submarine technologies possibly derived from alien crafts. They say that most of the ocean is still unexplored, but what if they're just saying that so we don't find the secret tunnels? I'm just asking the hard hitting questions here, all right? Moving on down our list, we have the Pine Castle Impact Range, which is nestled within the Ocala National Forest in Florida. As a bombing and training range used by the US Navy, it is integral for preparing military personnel for various missions, yet it's secluded nature and thunderous sounds of ordinance have sparked grounds for legends and theories. Tales circulate of mysterious phenomena, unexplained noises, and even strange lights. While the range serves a clear military purpose, the combination of its very secretive operations and its remote wooded setting provides the perfect backdrop for these tales to flourish. I mean, to be fair, as a testing range for certain weapons, it definitely makes sense why this place is full of mystery and stories. Sure, it definitely makes quite the impact on those who live in the area. Next up today, we have the Harstad Naval Base, which is located in the strategically important Arctic region of Norway. While primarily recognized as a critical node for NATO's maritime operations in the North Atlantic, the base's secluded and harsh Arctic environment definitely lends itself as a backdrop for tales of covert operations and clandestine activities. Amidst to the icy waters and the rugged terrain, some speculate that the base could be involved in everything from monitoring Russian naval activity to secretive underwater research, possibly linked to advanced marine technology or even unidentified submerged objects or USOs. I told you we would talk about them more later. There are some absolutely fascinating tales of USOs that remain completely unexplained. One, the Shag Harbor incident, which took place here in Canada, is actually still listed as a UFO in the official government documents. It's wild to think that they wouldn't be researching those things here, especially in somewhere as mysterious as the Arctic. I don't know, the Arctic is kind of something weird going on there. It's also very cold. All right, this next one is a little different compared to the others today because it is not a fixed installation and instead is a moving object that is the source of much speculation. The Viktor Leonov, a Vishna class intelligence ship of the Russian Navy, has been the focal point of intrigue and speculation, particularly among defense analysts and conspiracy theorists. Of course. This vessel, renowned for its sophisticated surveillance capabilities, is often covered in mystery as it navigates international waters, ostensibly gathering intelligence. While officially its missions involve signal and communications intelligence, the ship's appearances near other countries' naval bases have fueled theories that suggest clandestine operations, ranging from underwater espionage to interference in foreign communications networks. The alert the lure of the Viktor Leonov lies not just in its high-tech espionage equipment, but also in its very stealthy maneuvers. Its sudden emergence off coastlines, often without any formal announcement, sparks a flurry of media speculation, making it a magnet for tales of covert operations and international intrigue. Whether it's tapping undersea cables or eavesdropping on military exercises, the Viktor Leonov embodies the enduring fascination with the secretive world 
of Naval Intelligence. Next up, we have Fort Detrick, located in Frederick, Maryland, in the United States. This place is a Army Medical Command installation with a storied past that intertwines pioneering biomedical research with the shadowy realms of biodefense and high-level military experiments. Originally established during World War II, it gained notoriety as the center of the United States Biological Weapons Program until such activities were halted in 1960. Since then, Fort Detrick has pivoted to focus on biodefense, public health, and cancer research, housing some of the nation's most advanced biosafety laboratories. Despite its legitimate scientific achievements, Fort Detrick is enshrouded in a cloak of mystery, fueling urban legends that range from its alleged role in the spread of Lyme disease to speculative connections with the outbreak of mysterious illnesses. The facility's secretive past and high security endeavors have made it a fertile ground for speculations, linking it to various plots in pop culture and conspiracy theory circles. And moving on down today, we have the Wright Patterson Air Force Base, which is nestled in Dayton, Ohio. Ohio is like our second home here on the channel, and for a good reason. This base is not just a hub of military aviation innovation, it is a vault of mystique stirring the pot of urban legends. Central to its lore is the legendary Hangar 18, which is full of tales of extraterrestrial autopsies, again with the alien autopsies, and of course, UFO research. It's a place where the lines between science and science fiction blur. Critics argue there's no concrete evidence of such activities, yet the base remains an emblem of intrigue fueled by its historical ties to Project Blue Book, the US Air Force's official investigation into UFOs. While serving as a cornerstone of American aeronautics, Wright-Patterson balances its esteemed legacy with a cloak of mystery. Just like everything should be, you know? A little fact, a little mystery. I don't know, guys. What's your favorite mystery? Uh, that's kind of crazy to ask. Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye.